dusty dry conditions again so uh, for folks living out here uh, keep praying for them and just realize that the drought is not over we've, we've got to keep believing and keep praying for rain but more so praying for the families living out in these communities um, i reckon they're the most amazing australians well, as the sun goes down on this Friday afternoon in January 2016, this is just a magnificent sight seeing all of these trucks rolling into town, knowing that it's going to help a lot of farming families and graziers out here in the bush. And uh, donations have come in from all over the country to help this miracle happen. good thing. This is classic Australian generosity. Welcome to the uh, Burrum Buttock Hay Runners Hay Run. This is the biggest hay run in Australia's history and uh, probably about 140 trucks from all over the country that have come with uh, hay to bless the graziers and the farming families out here in the bush. This is unreal. Actually quite emotional just watching these trucks coming to town. So good to see mission accomplished for all of these drivers and for uh, all of the folks that have given to this.
gotta find your way back home You live for you and for you alone Time will harvest all the seeds you've sown When you strive... I don't think I've ever seen anything like this before. Hundreds of trucks donating thousands of hay bales and graziers and um, farmers have turned up from everywhere with their empty trucks to uh, to receive these donations it's pretty amazing people have come from everywhere and uh, lots of gratitude and generosity here in Norfolk. deep in your heart lost in your soul where are you going do you really know All Gotta find your way back home You live for you and for you alone Time will harvest all the seeds you've sown When you step into that great unknown You better find your way back home The end of the day and uh, there's a lot of happy graziers heading home with um, truckloads of, of hay bales for their cattle and uh, it's pretty good so good to see many many organizations and people working together in unity to um, not only bless the community of Ilfracombe and Isisford and Aramac and Mutterborough and, and Longreach but even beyond so um, People are uh, starting to head over for the concert and the big barbecue tonight, but uh, still a little bit of action happening over at the race course where everything took place. But uh, what a fantastic day. Well, this day has been a wonderful example of Australian generosity, but ultimately it's only a quick fix and what we're really praying for is that the rains would come and that the rain would be healed. It's been a remarkable few days here in Ilfracombe. I've noticed graziers helping each other out. Some blokes are so broke at the moment their trucks are unregistered or unroadworthy and they couldn't come into town to uh, collect the hay that has been given to them. And so it's just been incredible to see the, the spirit of generosity being extended. There is no easy answer to drought. We live in a country that every year suffers with bushfires, with floods and with drought. And with, uh, with drought comes this never-ending struggle to uh, just 
keep your head together and uh, and stay sane living out here every day farmers look out their windows graziers look out their windows at paddocks that used to have cattle and stock in them and uh, there's just no easy cure to it but I thank the Lord for organizations like Uniting Care Community and Country Callback, a 24-hour hotline for people who are struggling and, and uh, doing it tough, people that are isolated and struggling with depression, to know that they can call confidentially and, and get good advice and, and just good practical help. And um, we need more of that in this country at the moment. This drought is not finished. We've got a long way to go. But let's keep praying for miracles. And I thank the Lord for the uh, Burrum Buttock Hay Runners. I love that name. And uh, for Drought Angels and all of the organisations that got behind, some of the Rotary Clubs and Lions Clubs in New South Wales that came all this way to support. And uh, that's what we need to see more of in this country. Well, they got rain out here just a week or so ago and already you can see the ground is just dead dry again. The amazing thing about it is that uh, one drop of rain and this is what happens. All these little shoots just wanting to grow up and that's what will... Uh, bring revival, that's what will bring the cattle back so that the, the graziers can restock their properties and uh, we've got to keep praying for more rain, that's the bottom line.